Hello, hello, my name is Fairly, and I am actually coming on right now after the fact <laughs> to do the introduction because it has been an unusual morning, which I will shortly tell you about. <laughs> um, so what we're doing is it's kind of a get ready with me. Um, I just do quickly some basic stuff in my planner to see what's what, what's going on, and then I go straight into a card read. Um, that was a lot of fun. So thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have as much fun as I did. <laughs> All right. Oh, I, it has been an unusual morning. Um, so my phone just, we didn't shut off, but it just did something it wasn't supposed to do. Anyways, crafting strategy is one of the definitions that I ran into and I really liked it. Adapting and developing a strategy through learning and experience. So I'm just like, so my title is strategic communications consultant and coming up with a simple definition for that has proved challenging has proved challenging has been i like how i said it um <laughs> has proved challenging um but i really like that the crafting strategy adapting and developing a strategy through learning and experience because that's what we were just talking about <laughs> because that's what we were just talking about that's why I like it because that's what I do just naturally that's kind of, that's my natural rhythm I just that's what I fall into leave me up to my own devices and that's gonna happen <laughs> okay so then the other uh definition I thought was interesting so this is coming from an HR perspective the primary role of strategy so strategic communications consultant. So the primary role of strategy from an HR perspective is to determine which products to sell and which industries to enter. Which I really liked that as well. Um, I know I mentioned this before too and again I'll probably mention it again um, but the uh, subject matters I've been that have caught my intrigue or I have had to learn about due to um, pursuing a degree. You know, you have to learn these things in order to learn these things. <laughs> um, but just how it's all kind of cycled and meshed together has been super fun. And so then again, like I was saying, I'm going back through my systems just to kind of insert information, but then I'm also seeing my notes from that time period of the information I'm going back through my notes to retrieve, to put into my systems, which makes it even more fun because then there's more trails to follow. Like how in the tarot or the oracle cards, I was saying the other day, like, you're following this thread. It's like that. It's like, I'm following this thread in the keeping track of time that is associated to me pretty directly. Um, and so, like, you know, that's the main thread of this. But then things that are associated with time. So, like moon cycles, my cycle, natural flows, rhythms, the law of rhythm, the law of, oh gosh, what's the one that really caught my eye for a minute? Not the law of attraction. If I run into it, I'll mention it. But, um, so anyways, it's just been a hoot. <laughs> it's all been a hoot. Okay. Um, so I still don't have the colors that I was after for my month. So then I went to my week to see if I could still press on without having to cause another interruption. 
And what was the verdict there, you ask? I don't know, but I'm sure we can find out soon. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Because I don't want to have to do this every single time I come back to my planner when I'm like, okay, I'll get up and go get the markers, but then inevitably get distracted by one of the other things that I would like to get done up there. Um, and then come back and do this all over yet again. Just to save some time. I'm gonna sticky note what I'm doing on what layout so next time I'm in that layout, I know immediately. First thing to do. All right, so let us add in that schedule. Hmm. Okay, and let's do that with a color code system because then immediately I will know why it hasn't been done already. Because I don't have the markers. <laughs> I like to be able to follow my own train of thoughts. Okay. Then weekly I already went to what should I add in here though I want to get rid of this list because there's only one thing left on it so I'll write that here because that is a task I can accomplish when I'm in my weekly mindset And then daily, there was something I was going to put there, but do I remember what it was? No, I do not. So we'll open it to daily because if it comes back to me within this process, we'll already be there. It was attempting to start to come back, but then I have, I have already moved on in my head to... This list has been completed. All righty, these are <laughs> um, tea leaf, tea leaf cards. And there are also Astral House and Month of the Year cards mixed in as well. These ones have just been really fun for me lately, and so that's what I wanted to grab. <sighs> okay, bird flying. News is on the way. Butterfly, a change for the better. <laughs> People don't like change though, right? So what is, <laughs> ah, do I even want to turn that card over? Okay, so something I know about the, an the animal species, the human species, like as an animal, <laughs> as in general, we don't really like change. So it's beautiful and wonderful and it's for the better. And so from this big picture perspective, we're looking at it right now because we're not in it. Um, that's what it looks like. It's beautiful and free. Oh, well, that's kind of like, maybe that's something to hang on to. The free part, the free feeling. Does this card over here kind of tell us? This card tells us a little bit about what's going on. 
bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. And then the other card that kind of popped out was the reconciliation. So this makes me think that there's news on the way. It's going to be a change for the better. And that butterfly change for the better card right now is giving me like tower, tower feels, um, uh, like from the tarot, the like, uh, a lot of time, the implied tone or gifted feeling from that card is, uh, ooh, yesterday, weren't we talking about a father wound that gave us that same feeling? <gasps> like, a. Uh, I, I came up with an, I thought of an, another way to explain that yesterday too. And like, um, so like a, like kind of a surprise, but not, not in the physical sense, like not in the, a car is about to hit you or you're almost ran into something or something like that. But in that same sort of sense but in the mental. So a thought that you might have in the moment, like your initial thought might be like, <gasps> like, uh, oh, sh or like, mm. like there's some implication here that I'm not ready to assign any emotional attachment to yet. And then this reaction comes in. So the I don't, I mean, I don't know what it, it's going to be individual for, for everyone. Like, why'd you do that? Uh, what was that for? Or what's this? Or that was an interesting way to handle that. Or it's what's the trained response. That's the, that's the piece of information we're looking for. Um, um, okay. Bird flying, news is on the way, a change for the better. There's going to be a reconciliation. And the story that kind of just comes to me with this is uh, it seems like the news that is coming is coming from the same direction, at least. I was going to say same person, but coming from the same direction. So the news that's coming is also going to bear the news however it's on its way that's going to that's going to be the bearer of the news of this change which you may or may not see that it's going to be for the better uh and then there will be an opportunity for reconciliation and what it seems like to me is that that will like the reconciliation is going to happen right there was my first kind of pause hesitation but like ah is this something you want i don't know but that's a decision you get to make that's a you choice <laughs> um and then also the advice that kind of follows is the bowl don't back down from opposition show strength and fortitude and kind of what i get from that is not in a don't go in all bullheaded and aggressively with it. But also, if what's being said is not true, you don't have to agree with it. Like, don't agree with it. <laughs> if it's not true, why would you agree with it? To keep the peace? But like, what peace are you keeping? Whose peace are you keeping? Is it yours? Because if you're losing sleep over it, is it worth it? Like, is that your price to pay? <laughs> shark uh oh take care or there will be a loss of material wealth dun 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 okay so I'll tell you a little bit about one of the weird aspects of this morning um So we recently moved here. I feel like another aspect is going on right now. One moment, please. Hello. Okay. Whoops. There we go. 
so. Okay, well now these cards are just kind of the ones that stayed out. Bird, flying, and butterfly. And the rest kind of went back in the deck. And then what was on the bottom was Haystack Karma. You will reap what you have sown. And so I think whatever feeling comes to you with that is kind of the answer there. on all the levels and in all the ways and to and from all the perspectives. So whether it's from your perspective as, oh, what have I done? What karma is on its way back to me? The feeling you have from that, that piece to it, and then also the how can this person be doing this to me? And so that type of karma, what goes, what they've given will come back, what you've given will come back individually, collectively, all the different ways. So yeah, I think that's, this one, wealth, and it's like nuts and bolts, but gold, nuts and bolts, so like work, nuts and bolts, makes me think like manual labor, um, but I don't think that necessarily means like you're gonna have dirt and grease under your nails. I think it's because they're made of gold. So, oh, golden spoon, you're born with a golden spoon in your mouth. Isn't that a saying? So I wonder what the intent behind that saying was when it came to be like, because nowadays it kind of has that negative context, like, oh, um, privileged or entitled. But maybe back then it was, it was more just an observation, like, uh, uh, you don't, uh, you know how they named the ages, like, like the Bronze Age and like that, that type of thing. Like, <laughs> what if, what if it has to do with that? And so what if, oh, that baby has a golden spoon in its mouth? Um, and that's just the silverware that that family uses, you know what I mean? Like, hmm, it's not like an any kind of anything, it's just... On the things to pack for not the hospital, but whatever it was back then, the don't forget the spoon for whatever reason, and that's that's the cat. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> there you go. Ta da! Ooh, okay, the mule and the barrel are over here. I'm not quite sure how they came out, but they did somehow. And so the mule is someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. And the barrel, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Could that be love, money, or ambition? Like goals, could goal, could ambition be another word? For, yeah, kind of, right? Because goal is like the desired outcome. This is what I want to see happen. And ambition, I have ambitions. I have these thoughts that I want to see come to be and I can be ambitious, I can want to make those thoughts come to be. So like they, those words could kind of be interchangeable. I mean, it seems they have a place, there's a place for each, but you get what I mean. Okay, barrel and mule. And we were talking about wealth with work. So mules work, work. So you're going to be working hard, <laughs> which then immediately makes me look at money. Like money kind of stands out on this card here. They also have the, yeah. Um, 
but goals is what we started talking about initially. So <clears throat> and also I'm getting kind of like trade vibes. So not necessarily that what you work in is a trade, but this trade is something you've worked on your whole life. Like, um, I don't know. <laughs> like, okay. Hopefully this will paint some kind of picture for you. So for me, as a child, I always liked to collect stickers. I loved stickers. I loved um, uh, enamel pins, like from our travels, uh, like little souvenirs. Like this was my, oh yeah, I was here. And this is the pin I have. Like that's the, uh, that's the memory recall for me. Um, the very beginning of this, weren't we talking about how great planning was? <laughs> if for no other reason you have a day of history <laughs> remembered on paper. Those, those are related, right? <laughs> those two topics. <laughs> I know they're related. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 these are lots of cards. Okay, I guess there's only three, but still, that feels um, cool. Cool, cool. Is that the bowl again? The bowl's back. And the club. That seems to... And a knot. Oh, unsuccessful plan. That does not sound like what? Anyway, okay, this is more than three. All right, is there a fast message here? Hmm. Hmm. Mountain road wall tortoise. This looks like travel. Slow and steady wins the race. Kangaroo is not a rabbit, but they resemble each other. This one's got a joey. This one's got babies. say wide enough but that's not mountain high enough makes more sense ain't no mountain high enough valley is next ain't no valley low enough and it looks like there's a valley on the other side of this wall which this wall seems to be a misunderstanding Okay, so Mountain Road, you are on the road to success. Unsettled times, need to plan ahead. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. So you are getting ahead. You're planning ahead, you're getting ahead. You're on the road to success. I want to place this thread up and down, but it's kind of, it feels like it wants to go this way. So we'll just do that and see what happens, shall we? All right, and we have the wall, which is the big misunderstanding. And it kind of wants to go here, like in between and below the kangaroo and the tortoise. Which, remember, those two together gave me the tortoise and the hare vibes. Boop. All right, we'll just set it there. Because what? All right, that's where all those cards went. Underneath, underneath the wealth, the golden nuts and bolts. Okay, so we just, that thread just presented itself so you want to go this way too and you're also below 
with that. Okay. Are we seeing a storyline for it? We might. We might be. Mule Knot Club. Kite. All right, and these guys flew at us, remember? Beetle and Bull. And this is the second time Bull has presented. So I'm going to stick that here. We have a story forming, folks. Okay. So this story. So let's look at this story, keeping in mind all those other stories, right? A holistic view. Um, mountain Road. You are on the road to success. And then on that same level, and so far this is top tier, we have the kangaroo and tortoise, which remember gave me tortoise and the hare story vibes. Um, so slow and steady wins the race. Um, and then also plan ahead seems to be the other boop word there. There's a wall, and this kind of came within that travel vibe spread, but there's a wall, which is a misunderstanding. And there's a valley on one side, and it's I don't know. Maybe a meadow on the other, or maybe a mountain. Ooh, okay, and so the sun's on one side, so this could also be like sun and shadowland. The, I don't know, I just heard the Lion King storyline recently, so like, you know, where the lions live and the hyena land. Um, and then right below that is the haystack, which here is karma. And so which feeling did you get? Which instance did you think about? Which perspective were you viewing it from? Okay, and so then that, so the wall is on the in-between and the same in-between area has the bowl, which is the do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude, but also don't be bullheaded and crazy, right? You know, obvious, the obvious. Okay, so then this next storyline, below all of that, which there's a misunderstanding I'm kind of seeing this both ways. Like this isn't like a, this leads to this and this leads to this. It's like a, there could already be a wall due to a misunderstanding and someone could be pretty bullheaded about it and someone else could be pretty like, okay, yeah, whatever you say about it or vice versa or all the way around or mix and match, you know what I mean? Um, and or someone is being bullheaded about something and or someone else is being like, yeah, okay, whatever you say, even though they know that's n it's not whatever they say. <laughs> um, and this leads to a misunderstanding, but this is kind of, it's giving me like chicken and egg vibes, like uh, which one came first, who knows, who cares, like which direction should we go in, who knows, who cares, like which way do you want to look at it doesn't really matter like <laughs> dun, 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 are you getting out or not because you gotta just gotta make that choice <laughs> Ooh, okay so if we just make that choice from the bull side we're going and we're telling the story this story from this side and if we make that choice from the misunderstanding side boom, that goes and affects our wealth and we tell the story from this side so if we tell it from either being bullheaded or not speaking up for ourselves, the change, the beautiful change that's coming, whether we see it that way or not, that's what leads us into that story. Okay, so if we're being bullheaded or like a pushover, the change that's coming will probably feel like a tower moment. So it might just feel like your life's falling apart, but just like breathe, right? If you're breathing, you're alive. Stick with that. Um, see how deep you can breathe. How deep can you get your belly breaths? And then can you breathe out longer? Try that. <laughs> um, 
uh, bowl, and then notice that you are breathing. So you're still alive. <laughs> and you can do that. You can, you don't have to be a good multitasker to do that and multitask. Like you can do all the other things you're supposed to be doing and still like checking in and being like, I'm breathing and like, how deep am I breathing? So it's like, you can do it. Try it. It'll be weird the first time, but then you did it and you'll be like, oh yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Butterfly change. That's what the bull leads us into. Okay. So if this mountain road we're on if this journey we're on if the things that are on our minds currently have to do with and also this is a different topic but i'm interjecting whenever you're watching this is whenever it's applicable to you so yeah i'm gonna go with that so if right now, throughout this conversation, um, this communication, uh, if when we've been talking about that bowl, the like too forceful or not enough storyline, if that's the one resonating with you, then the tower moment change will be for the better it's a perspective shift you're going to need. And it looks like you're going to have to like, whoop, no, how would you do that? If you're blowing out, that'll make you lighter. Is that when you go up? But like, I feel like if I want to fly, I would breathe in. But maybe is that also what makes me sink? Why I can't fly? No, I'm <laughs> just, <laughs> but I mean, yeah. So you'd want to be, I don't know, maybe do some yoga, do some crow pose. Um, you want to get into that light, airy, mental, thoughtful perspective for this news that's going to be on the way. Because maybe if this thing, this tower moment feels too heavy and you get too heavy, maybe you won't be able to hear the light melody, right? Like if you're in the bass section, that's all you're hearing. And so, and focus on your breathing. Focus on the out. Just like... Try to feel like the out breath, <laughs> like that, like, so you can have this bird's eye perspective. So you'll see the news as it's on the way, um, which then, okay, it's saying stop there. So wall, so let's say your focus through these storylines has been on the misunderstanding. Then let's go this way. So there's been a misunderstanding and it has affected or it's gonna affect your wealth. And I was going to say in the material world, on the material realm, but also these are gold and shiny, which we had the whole, maybe the gold perspective thing earlier, but <sighs> all right, let's just leave that. Uh, and then the haystack karma, you will reap what you have sown. Okay, so there's been some sort of misunderstanding. It has manual impact is how I want to say that. There's a misunderstanding about manual impact. And karma's this has already been done. So whatever this is, how do you feel about it? So if you've been wronged and you're just like, what is going on? Like this can't be, this is like this just doesn't. with the way I know things to work from my perspective, this doesn't, how is this working? Um, 
maybe it shouldn't have been working and that situation's about to just poof in an abundant form. Um, if you have been the, if you have some worry about what's, oh shit, <laughs> thought I got away with that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but okay so perspective so maybe same thing okay so that's that but then continue on the story same advice is from the other side like if you were this story going this way try a different perspective this change is for the better, can be for the better. What have you learned from this? What are you not going to do again? What are you going to do again? To what extremes? To what levels? How are things going to, how's it going to be different? Okay, and then we have the mule and the knot, which is someone stubborn and unwilling to change and not is an unsuccessful plan. Then we have the club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Kite vacation. Barrel is still over here. Maybe that's just kind of like a floating vibe. Like a, oh, I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe that's just kind of like within your aura. Good fortune. Do you feel like you're... That should be over here, I feel like. I don't know. Club, someone will try to make you do something you don't want to do. Invocation. Okay, so that's that's this one. So someone is extremely stubborn and they want to make you do something you don't want to do and you don't want to do it because you know it's an unsuccess, like it's not going to be successful. It's going to be an unsuccessful plan. Um, and then we have vacation, which kind of wants to go here, which is kind of that would also under that um, bird flying news is on the way but also remember that's kind of like the light floaty air energy that we're wanting to keep like in Willy Wonka where they are sending that little boy through the TV um, and you like see the particles he is in the air above <laughs> that uh, so vacation is directly under kind of that kind of feel so maybe that's how you can get there if you're just like I just how do I get this perspective shift? Maybe that's how. Or go fly a kite. <laughs> Doesn't that mean something to you? <laughs> like you're talking to someone, go fly a kite. <laughs> I don't know which one's going to work for you, but one of those three. <laughs> and good fortune. Okay, so okay, so if this is just kind of like floating around in your aura, that means this is probably kind of floating around in your aura too, and they didn't want it over there, they wanted it over here because... They're separate, but in the same bubble. Um, so you have good fortune that just kind of like follows you wherever you go. It's just it's part of wherever you are. It is there as well. Um, but you also have this feeling of lack and that's there too. And those two are not going to bump together and join forces like um like they're not like a um Adam and their little are those the electrons that they're like oh we'll share Boop. and then they share these guys aren't gonna share So maybe they can't coexist within your physical world because as they both bounce around your not physical world, your bubble. Boop, 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 boop. For whatever reason, they're magnetized enough, boop, 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 to stay in your field. But like, ooh, okay, so they're equivalent energy. So one's got to go up for the other to go down or other way around. Boop, boop, boop. And so you have to make a decision 
and it's going to be around perspective, you have to make a decision about which perspective you are going to carry, you are going to hold. When someone is going to try to make you do something that you don't think is a good idea. What perspective are you going to hold on vacation or while you fly a kite? Oh, or are you going to go tell someone to fly a kite? Are you going to go fly a kite? Like literally, are you going to go to a park and fly a kite? So I don't know, for me, that brings like comfortable, fun, familial feels. Um, or are you going to go on vacation, which gives me like relaxing familial feels or even just relaxing, could be solo feels. So relaxing solo feels, relaxing loving group feels, or uh, you know why <laughs> feels. All right, dun dun dun. Is there anything else we should know and, and like, via one card. Please. <laughs> it's more than one, it's more than one. It's not the one, that's the one. Peacock! And beware of great pride. Beware of great pride. And if you don't know how to look at that, like if you don't know, like if you're like, I know I have a blind spot, but I don't know what it is. Like, what is my blind spot? What could it be? Um, if you've heard the word pride before in your life, <laughs> were we just talking about the Lion King too? Like the sunny side was the lion's pride and the pride or territory. Is pride the pack? Pride's the pack, right? And so their territory probably are the words I'm looking for for this type of situation. And the other side is the hyena in the valley. Okay, so if you're wondering, like, is this my blind spot? Is pride? So if you've heard the word pride before, <laughs> which I know you have because you've just heard it, I don't know how many times right now <laughs> at this time and location, um, maybe take a look at this bull situation or maybe you have both situations going on in your life and you have to look at both of them separately but then also as a whole um are you not back backing down and what are you not backing down from and why not and if you have no idea then why are you holding that belief and if you don't know but you still have to hold that belief where are you physically feeling it like in your body and then just like follow the clues, follow the bouncing ball. And then for whatever reason, probably the law of rhythm. This, the answers will present themselves. Um, and that's what I know. <laughs> All right. I hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later.